Hello, welcome once again to ProtoLeaf channel. Thanks for joining us. Today's topic is this plant, Sansa Vieria. Sansa Vieria. Now you may recall some time ago, Sansa Vieria was getting a lot of attention because it was supposed to generate negative ions. Whether that's true or not, this plant is very strong and easy to grow and it's always been popular. But be careful where you place your Sansa Vieria. First of all, don't place it in a cold area. If the temperature falls, to grow, falls below rather, 10 degrees Celsius, it will be damaged by frost, so never place your Sansa Vieria in the cold. It's fairly tolerant, however, with respect to light, so long as it's not in pitch darkness, it will usually survive and can be placed anywhere that you like. Having said that, it's always better to have sun, so find an optimal spot where your plant looks good, but is also bright. The biggest risk of failure in terms of taking care of this plant is watering. Sansa Vieria does not like being constantly moist and should be kept dry. Keep in mind that these leaves store water for the plant's preservation. If you water your Sansa Vieria too much, therefore, it will rot at the base. So wait until it's completely dry before watering. And then when you do water, water abundantly until you see water coming out of the bottom of the pot. During the cold months of winter, the Sansa Vieria is weak and it could quickly die if it's watered. In fact, from December until March, you really don't need to water at all and the plant will survive on the water it has stored in its leaves. So if you can't raise the temperature, don't water during winter. And then around April, when the temperature is consistently above 10 degrees Celsius, remember to water generously. Your plant will happily survive the winter like this. Thanks a lot.